Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Susan. And today we're going to be making a necklace inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, Susan, if there's one thing you know about me, I love Halloween. It is my that favorite is time of year. Um, and if you can combine Halloween and Christmas, what do you get? One of the greatest animated movies of all time, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I am obsessed with that movie. I kept, I've watched it probably every year of my life. Are you serious? Yeah, I love that movie. We yeah. should make some jewelry. Yeah, let's do something. That's yeah. something that's inspired by uh -huh. that movie. Yeah, something kind of creepy looking. Yeah. Creepy looking would be good. Okay, yes. yeah, let's yes. do that. I, you know, I specialize in creepy looking jewelry. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, that's you all day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, constantly doing all those creepy looking things. No, I do have an idea though. Okay, okay. We'll um, have you ever seen The Tree of Life Pendants? Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with them. Okay, well, I thought it'd be kind of cool if we did one that was dark Ooh. and spooky. And I've seen where people put a coin pearl or a coin bead in them, and it looks like the moon. Oh, okay, I think I like where this is going. Okay. It's pretty neat, right? Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh. So what would we need to make something like that? A lot of wire. A lot of wire. A little time. Okay. Got yes. A, got a little bit of that. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and uh, and a coin bead. Like any bead. like a bead that's shaped like a coin. Yeah. Flat on each side so it looks like the moon. Okay. Yeah. So I'm um, here's one I've already done. All right. Just Ooh. I wanted to have this here for you so you could see yeah. what I'm talking about. And you see how I kind of put this one off to the side. I wanted to make it really creepy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like it was growing out of the side of a mountain or something. I like it. And that. there's your there's your coin bead, which looks like the moon. Yeah. And I picked this one because it had like little spots on it. And I thought, yeah. sort of like the man on the moon. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first thing we have to do is we have to make a base. Okay. And I don't know if I've ever showed you how to do this before, but that's what it's going to so. look like. Okay. So this is 16 gauge wire. See, it's black wire. Yeah. And um, that's what we're going to attach all of these little wires to. So I've got some wire here. Okay, I know perfect. you're excited. Yes. And what you're going to do is take about a foot of this and you're going to use a mandrel. Have you ever mandrel. used one of these bracelet mandrels I think before? I have, yes. Okay. It's been a while. Yeah. I, I'm just using, it's a bracelet mandrel. So, I mean, I'm using it just to, just because it's a circle. Yeah. What are the to... absolute hardest things to do in making jewelry? Mm. Make a circle. Yeah. So we're going yeah. to wrap it around here. So just choose your size. And I would go somewhere about here up. Um, choose your size and then go ahead and wrap this around there. And then I'll show you how to finish okay. it. Yeah. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. See? There you go. Perfect circle. Perfect circle. So you're going to take the flat nose plier and you're going to flip one of these guys straight up. Straight okay, up. Into okay. it like a 90 degree angle. Okay. Okay. Here. Just one of them. Just right. one. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. All right, and then what I like to do here is I like to get this next piece started. So I take what this is gonna what's gonna happen is this piece is gonna wrap around this piece. Okay. We're just making this at the top right here. Oh, I see. Okay. See that? So what I like to do is take my flat nose plier and flip it in, like so. Oh, I see. Okay. So now it's ready to wrap. And then I'm gonna put it, I want you to put it back on the mandrel because that way it holds your circle holds and shape, kind of like how we keep the round nose plier inside. Yeah. Or use the chain nose to hold it. Some people like to use pliers, I always use my hands, but you know, it's just kind of personal preference. Whatever you. Yeah, and just like two times is perfect. Good job. Perfect. All right, so mm -hmm. now you wanna take this piece and you can take it off the mandrel if you want okay. to now because it's ready. And you wanna take this piece and you wanna flip it back or front, it doesn't really matter, just into a 90 degree angle. Okay. And it needs to be right on top of that, so you probably don't want to use your pliers. I know, okay. There you go. Yeah. Just straight back. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, we can trim this piece off too. Okay. That can be trimmed. Perfect. Now, all you have to do is see, see my loop right yeah. there at the top? So now that's what you're gonna do with that piece. You just wanna trim this off about about three eighths of an inch long, about right there. Okay. And then you just turn it into a, a loop. If I show you how to do that, I, I think I showed you the one step looper. This is a little heavy yeah, for the I've one step the, looper. Okay. So to do this, you basically wanna grab it with the round nose plier right at the very end. At the very on end. On one of the, a little bit higher on the jaw. Yeah, at the very, very end. Like, very like so you, almost like you can't see it coming through the through there, but okay. you still have, no, okay, hold on. I'm not making sense. Oh. Not the end of the plier. Not the end of the plier. The end of the wire. Oh, yes. I see. But you want to be up inside the jaws because you're making a larger circle. Got you, okay. There you go. Perfect. 
Yeah, just you could just straighten it out. There we go. Okay, so the next step is all these little guys. Okay, okay. this is all 26 gauge wire. So, but what you have to do with these, these are all about a foot long. So you cut 16 pieces. 16 of them, okay. Of the 26 gauge wire or 24 gauge wire. And I'm using that hematite color again. And I'm gonna fold it in half, right in the middle. And I'm gonna put it onto the base that you made. Okay. So beautifully. And we are going to then twist it. hold it in place okay. just like so and then I'm just gonna pull those straight so I'll do another one and then you can do some okay so pop it through and it's it's the wires are gonna be all over the place yeah and you just have to kind of let let yourself go with that yeah 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 so I'm gonna try and try yes yeah, uh, you see I stepped away like. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I see what you're doing mm -hmm. Yeah, just make them pretty even. It, this, what I like about this project is it doesn't have to be perfect. No. You don't have to get it exactly right. If you, if your wire gets crinkled, that's good because we're gonna make them even more crinkled later. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's perfect. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's perfect. It's perfectly imperfect. Mm -hmm. That's the way you want it. These trees need to be crazy and gnarled, and yeah. especially this one since it's Nightmare Before Christmas, it really needs to be gnarly. Awesome. That looks great. Awesome. Perfect. All right. All right. So see, we got lots of lots of branches here. All right. So I was thinking we put it in the middle. I did this one kind of on the side, but I was thinking we'd put it in the middle because it'd be easier to, to visualize for yeah, you the first yeah. time. All right. Yeah. So what you want to do then is, and I'll do one, take four and then divide them in half and twist those together. Okay, so two and two. Yeah. These are going to be the roots. Okay, good. So roots. take the next four and do that same thing. Okay. So really just twisting the two around each other. Yes. Okay, so that now you've got that twisting motion. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of twisted. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing the whole time. Okay. Okay. And so now we have to start our our trunk okay so now we're right here and so you take half and half and you're gonna and I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna show you just fold it over and then you, you do twist. the exact same thing mm -hmm. all right is that about enough or? that's probably good yeah yeah that looks really good I like yeah. how see how that kind of came yeah because you tw you did a lot of twisting so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate out these wires so I'm gonna bring four over this way One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right, so now we kind of have to decide. I think we want to make our tree a little bit taller in the center so we can take these guys here okay. and twist all of those together, but leave these guys out. So just twisting these two? Mm -hmm. Just all of them, all that whole bunch. Yeah, okay. twist them. yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. I like that. Just a little more. All right, height. now I think we're going to put the moon on. These eight over here. Over here, okay. So what we're gonna do is we can put him on first, and so you just want to twist these a little bit more. This one. These two. These two. These two bunches. All right, so we'll separate out the wires a little bit because we've got to put the moon on one. Okay. Of yeah. them. So I'm gonna take. I think that one's good. That's a good one. And so here, put, put your little there. guy on there. That spot is the, the fun part. The sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right, so now you can finish off the moon. Okay. Uh, just by wrapping this wire right here around this side. All right. So we just want to wrap this this part around. Mm -hmm. Wrap it around three times. And you can use a plier. It's easier to. Okay. Like you can push it through like you did, and then grab it with the plier. Oh, with the plier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and I always cut it off at the back. That's plenty of cut. That's plenty of wraps. Okay. And so I always cut it off at the back. Okay. And then take your chain nose plier and press that in. And 
try to use a little, almost like a little, yeah, that motion. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. you know, the, that motion. What I call the folding motion. Yes, the folding motion, yeah. perfect. So that next step is to secure the moon. And so you want to take a couple of these wires here and twist them together over the top of the moon. So okay. like, let's see how many wires we got there. We got two up there, three here, and two here. So, so we could use, we could use three on the front, I think. Yeah, okay. So one and two, and just twist and them twist up the top, two. up the top of the moon. That's good. That's good. Yeah, because now what you want to do is you're going to take these guys and you're going to wrap them on either side. So okay. it's almost see how it kind of makes it branches out. Yeah, yeah. So this one gets wrapped there, and then these two get wrapped over there. Okay. You can you can wrap them individually or together. Okay. Yeah. Same thing at the back of it. Okay. And that'll hold it close on that side. Okay, so this one is not going to go in front oh, of the not. moon or behind the moon. This one's going to come out over here. We need to twist it a little bit so that you have some branches down. So twist this one, but make sure you don't twist it all the way up. Just give it a couple twists. Okay. So we have some branches. Okay. And so do it, be a little bit loose with it so that, and we'll do some twisting later to bring it all together, okay. but so that you can get them, sometimes it's hard to make them stay far apart. Try to get okay. one up next to the moon. So you see, kind of, I mean, you can kind of already see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. So now we need to get, now all these wires have to be twisted. Twisted and put into the, the story here. It's like, it is kind of like a little story, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's your story. Um, so I'm gonna twist this just a little bit. You see what I'm doing? I'm like, mm, I don't know if I wanna do that. Maybe I'll yeah, just, just kind of twist playing these, around and... you know? It just kind of, you get a little more a little more branchy if you separate them out a little bit. So, but I want at least four of these to go over here next to the moon. So I wanna twist those like that so that they're over yeah. here. So twist the four together, and then twist the two together. So you have uh, a bunch of different branches kind mm -hmm. of. Kind yeah. Of the main part, yeah. And like I said, I really don't think you could mess this up. Let's see how it looks so far. Yeah. Looking good? Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. So we're almost done. Yeah, you're doing great. All right. That was pretty fast. This came along really well. All right. I feel like you kind of get into a zone with it. Yeah, you really do. That's your last one. That's my last one. I'm gonna show you how to make it gnarly. All right, let's gnarly it up. All right, so now what you can do is you can take either your chain or your flat nose plier, depending on where you are, and just grab and twist. Mm, okay. So this this one down here is a, the, probably the hardest. You just twist it. See how that kind of gnarled that yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. And then you can grab this whole thing. I'm not gonna do it because I want you to do it. Okay. You can grab that whole thing. You might even use that the flat nose for this because it's the big part. And just twist as just much twist. as you want and, okay. and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I love the negative space too yeah. on yours. That's really that looks really good. So I thought this dark chain would be pretty to put it on. All right. Yeah, just twist up or, or down. Up, down, left, right. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now it's a necklace. Awesome. And that's a fun project. Like a Did really you like fun it? Project. Yeah. Oh good, I'm I really glad. like that. I was worried you were gonna think it was too intense. No, no. This is really cool. This is so much Looks fun. Looks so good. Yeah, yes. yeah, this is fun. Alright, yeah.
Thanks so much for watching. If you guys would like to pick up some supplies like the ones we worked with today, check out the links down below. What color wire would you use for your tree of life? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And now that you know a little bit more about making a tree of life pendant inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas, you can say, I made this.